keep telling you that I'm going to show you how I make different things with essential oils and I have not done it and I will go and like remake something that we're low on and be like, why didn't I record that? So since my perfume is very, very low, I decided I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make it. So this is just a five milliliter roller bottle. And so it's got a little top like this on it. Whoop, get my face out of there. And this one has some rose petals in it. Um, because somebody made it for me and put rose petals in it, which I think is cute. To get the top off, you just kind of put the cap on and like partially and just pull and it will eventually just pop it right off for you. I'm trying not to fling it though since it does have oil stuff already in it. So it just popped out into the cap there from pulling on it. Okay, <laughs> and then um, things are always harder when you're, you know, trying to show someone. So first off, I'm going to tell you what I like to wear. I like very sensual, kind of woodsy scents. Those are like the kind of smells that I really like. Now for summer, I will probably do like a kind of fruity blend, but um, for this time of the year, I like very like sensual, warm scents. And one of my favorite things ever is patchouli. It has been since I was really young. And um, I used to wear just patchouli perfume when I was younger, um, but now I don't want it quite that intense. So patchouli with bergamot and lavender makes a very like just soft not overwhelming patchouli just a very nice warm scent and so what I like to do is for the five milliliter bottle I like to do seven drops of patchouli now there is still a little bit in here from before so I think um but that'll be fine so we're gonna do seven drops of patchouli so one two, three, four. Patchouli is a little thicker oil, so it comes out a lot slower, which is kind of nice in some ways, and then otherwise, kind of, other ways kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's kind of nice for this because then you don't have it spilling all over the place. After my patchouli, which I did seven. Now you just find the blend that works good for you. This is what I like for me. So you would decide what you like. And then I like to do four bergamot. Now this comes out a lot faster. So one, two, three, four, five. We got five. Sometimes you get a little extra. It's okay. There's no exact science to this. It's the blend that you find that you like. And then I'm going to do three lavender. Lavender also comes out a lot faster. One, two, And then my preferred carrier oil for everything, for what I put on my face when I put different oils on me is jojoba oil. And so um, that is what I like to use as my carrier that I'm gonna fill up the rest of this bottle with. So we're just gonna go ahead, it comes with a nice dropper. I'm like that I'm hopefully getting in frame, yeah. Sometimes you can make a little mess with this stuff, so, and it is oil, so you don't really want it on your clothes. Now the essential oils, unless they're like a really colored one, those ones won't like get oily on your clothes, but obviously like your carrier oil has more of that oiliness. So I'm just gonna fill her up. And that's good, because I wanna leave space for the roller bottle or for the roller top because let me get it on here without getting it all over my fingers maybe maybe not I don't think I'm gonna be able to no I'm just gonna have to grab it all right so I'm gonna show you because it goes down in you don't want to fill all the way to the top or you're gonna be pushing oil everywhere so the easiest way to get this back on there put it on top and you're gonna screw your top down and that is going to help you get your roller bottle top back on. And I'm going to unscrew it. And as you can see, it's on there. And so then I'm just going to put my top on and just kind of roll it back and forth gently so that the oils mix. And then I'll do that each time before I go to wear it. And 
it looks so pretty with the rose petals in there. And then I just open it up and I just roll it wherever I want it. Um, actually, my preferred places to wear it are on my wrists. I do it like kind of down on my chest, kind of like in your cleavage area. Um, I do it on my stomach and then down at the small of my back. Places where, or like um, on the insides of your wrists here, places where like when you sweat, they really heat up. Those are the places I like to put perfume because then it like makes that smell kind of, you know, more noticeable. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. It's just such a, I don't know, it's it's clean and warm and I just love it. <laughs> so that is how I make my perfume. And now I have my perfume bottle back filled up and I'm so glad because I was like, ah, oh, it's getting low. I need to refill this. So that is how I make my essential oil perfume. Um, if you are interested, I can show you when I change over for um, the seasons because in the spring, I'm probably going to want a little more like of a fruity kind of smell. I'm not a big floral person, so I don't know that I'll do any kind of like floral type ones, but um, definitely like more of a fruity, fresh, that kind of thing. So um, you guys let me know if that would be something you would be interested in seeing what I am going to do for, you know, in the warmer months. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, always feel free to ask me anything. Um, my email address and my Instagram are always down in the description box. So if you have any questions for me or anything you would like to know, you can always email me or send me a mess direct message on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Thank you.